here it is this is my new base camp tent Here we are. I'm in the new uh, the new base camp tent for me for car camping and having a little more comfort. And uh, this is the Gazelle T4. And this thing is just huge. Look, I'm standing up in this. I'm I'm you know six one in the morning, usually about six foot by the end of the day. But uh, this is just this is great. This is an amazing tent. It pops out like an ice fishing hut, so it's super simple to set up. They actually say it takes 90 seconds. And I think if I get proficient with it, it will take 90 seconds. Honestly, it probably took me maybe two minutes to get this thing set up. And that includes putting on the rain fly. So I've got the rain fly on here. I also got the little gear loft attached. It's got plenty of places for storage in here. It's got this loft. There's actually up under the loft, there is a uh, little rope that hangs down. So if I wanted to put a lantern there I could or I can just shove the lantern up in there it's got pockets all over it on all four sides it has these huge stash stash pockets that are mesh um, it's got a ton of windows it's got six windows all the way around that have the uh, the no see -um mesh netting and then of course I can close them up and then it's got two doors it's got a door on this side and it's it's a d-shaped door which is because of the, the way the tent's actually designed. But it's got mesh so I can close that up. And you see on this side I have the mesh. The mesh closed up here. YKK zippers. I mean the material on this. I'll have to put the specs in the video. This thing is just very impressive. And the one thing I really like is this bathtub floor. It's Velcro all the way around it. So you can easily remove the floor if you want to go floorless. Get these little red things to line up on each side so you know how to get the floor in. And if I, uh, if I were to tear the floor, I can easily just buy a new one and, uh, and Velcro that in. So it's, uh, it's really nice. It's really nice in here. Let me take a tour of the outside. Here's the, uh, the D-shaped door, and it's got ties if I wanted to tie this up. It's 8 feet by 8 feet, and I'll have to get the dimensions for the, the roof. I think it's, it's over 70 inches tall, at least over 72, 73. So, like I said, no problem for me fitting in this and standing up. Plenty of room for a cot or two. Plus, I can put a cooler in there. I can put a camp chair in there if I wanted to kick back and it was raining, so pretty awesome. This is one thing I really like about this. Look at these zippers on the door. You've got a covered section here and then down here it transitions to cover the rest of it. So it's gonna be great in the rain. This thing's huge. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty close to glamping for me. Pretty awesome. I like this thing. New base camp temp. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Um, only for car camp, and I'm not getting rid of the Lux tents. I've been very happy with Lux, and uh, I will continue to use those. But this year, when we go to Indian Cave for four days, this is going to be my tent. Um, so I'm really glad I got it. Um, you know, it's uh, tents are expensive, especially good quality like this. But uh, this is definitely worth it. 
I'm very excited to sleep out on this. Um, right now we're just out um, for an afternoon, hanging out in a day use area, but I thought I would set it up, see how it looks, and uh, boy, this is getting a thumbs up for me. This is, a, this is gonna be a great tent.